Hi, my name is Kimberly and I'm a student at UC Irvine and during my time at Latina Republic, I had the opportunity to work as an immigration writer. So during my time at Latina Republic, I started off my stories kind of locally, um, talking about organizations and individuals in the Los Angeles Long Beach area. And as I got more confident in my writing and kind of reaching out to these organizations, I was able to reach out to people from across the country. So I got to cover organizations and people in states like Michigan um, and Rhode Island and even people from DC. Um, so I, my stories were kind of just everywhere after a while. Um, and it ranged from different communities. So I had the opportunity to talk to the Southeast Asian community, the Arab American community, and also the Latino community. Um, my stories at first started off um, being very locally. So my very first story was covering street vendors in Los Angeles. And I kind of had the opportunity to amplify the voices of street vendors directly. So I got to go out and interview um, a few street vendors and kind of get their input, input on how they saw um, the situation and the environment that was currently um, happening in Los Angeles surrounding street vendors. Um, so I kind of had the opportunity to not only talk to them about like what their issues were, what was kind of happening, um, but I also kind of got to meet them and talk to them and kind of get a feel of like what it was like to be a street vendor. Um, so that was really cool because I kind of got to amplify their voices and kind of talk to them directly. Um, and after that, I reached out to organizations. So I went from, you know, a grassroots organization, which was the Local Hearts Foundation, um, which worked more directly with the community. Um, they did food drives, toy drives, um, and they just gave out resources directly to different families and people who needed them. Um, and they're still doing that. And I also kind of got to talk to more indirect organizations like the CRAC, which is the Southeast Asia Resource Action Center. Um, and they do more lobbying, more advocating um, before like the government and kind of just doing that. And although they don't do like direct um, allocation of resources, they do have a big part in um, drafting up policies, advocating for certain legislation and those type of things for the Southeast Asian refugee community. Um, and I also kind of got to talk to other organizations. So I got to talk to the Rhode Island um, Latino Arts Center in Rhode Island. Um, and they kind of talked to me about the history of this organization, how they help um, the Latino community and how they um, give out you know, resources and a space for artists to come together. And I also kind of got to talk to um, you know, just com other communities of color. So I had the opportunity to talk to the Arab American National Museum, uh, which, you know, gave me an insight of, you know, the issues that Arab Americans had to go through um, and just how important it is to kind of know what their experiences were like. Um, and in talking to these people, I had the opportunity to kind of see a different perspective of different communities that weren't the Latino community and just how um, similarly they are you know trying to fight for issues that um, at times are universal and other times are very specific to certain groups um, and talking to these people just kind of gave me more of an insight because it was people who were directly kind of advocating and fighting for the equal rights and equal protection of other communities of color, um, which was really interesting and really cool. So it was kind of a first-hand look into all of this. Um, and working as an immigration writer um, influenced me in a big way, because I feel like after I had the opportunity to talk to all these organizations and all these individuals, it just made me want to help more um, and just kind of enter these fields where I saw that these organizations were kind of helping in um, I hope to just kind of continue, you know, I had the opportunity to write about these organizations and, and these different stories. Um, and I hope that after, you know, I graduate and I'm able to get a career, it's in something that helps advance um, the work that some of these organizations are doing or all of these organizations are doing, you know, they're uplifting communities of color um, and they're doing so in different ways that I feel like um, I, still don't know how I can contribute, but I'm doing my best to be able to kind of 
steer in a way where I can be as useful as I can be where I'm needed in these different communities. Um, and in being able to talk to these like leaders um, and these um, other individuals, uh, I was kind of inspired to see how their drive um, and how committed they were to these causes. A lot of times um, talking to them afterwards, I just felt really good because it was just like, I was talking to this person who's committed a lot of time and a lot of their life um, to advancing um, these communities. And it just kind of inspired me to see that in them. And it made me want to just do the same. Um, I think that Latino Republic's doing a really good job at being able to give students an opportunity to kind of reach out and venture out to see what kind of you know things they might want to do in the future because you do talk to um you know people working directly with the government um i had the opportunity to talk to people from art centers um people directly working with the government um, more local uh people people who are just doing mutual aid um so it just kind of gives you gives you the opportunity to kind of um be able to listen, actually listen and get all this information that you need to be able to um, support these communities. Um, and I think it gives you enough space and enough creative liberty to kind of take whatever route you think fits best um, while also, you know, getting guidance and counseling and help and, you know, steering in the right direction. Um, after my time at Latino Republic, I feel like I have more experiencing and just talking to people face to face, kind of getting, um, also getting really accurate, you know, descriptions of things, being able to um, communicate, communicate clearly what I would like to, you know, learn more of um, and just be able to conduct better interviews, kind of talk to people. Um, and it also gave me the opportunity to kind of be able to work in a way where I'm guided, but also able to set a clear path, you know, and just follow a schedule where I'm able to work um, independently, but also, you know, have this guidance where I know that I can, you know, rely on someone. Um, I hope to, you know, get um, my bachelor's and hopefully maybe go to grad school. Um, and I just hope to have a career in, you know, helping the community, something in advocacy, hopefully, probably helping with a non-profit, um, something like that. I still don't know, but I know that I want to keep working um, in things that help the community.